So one of my favorite stories about failing, um, I don't know if it's failing, but it's, it's, a, it's pretty embarrassing, uh, was when I was a graduate student at uh, University of Colorado Boulder. And I was doing research um, in, uh, in the physics department. And I was in, actually in a meeting with my research advisor. And it was a one-on-one -on -one meeting. And he was standing at the board uh, explaining something to me. And I was standing sort of right next to him, looking at what he was writing on the board. And he was going into some very elaborate explanation of a string theory calculation and he uh, started to write up some notation that I, I hadn't really seen before but it sort of involved letters and symbols that kind of looked familiar but I wasn't a hundred percent sure if I knew what was going on and then he started saying words like differential form and closed and exact and and I just sort of stood there and I was like mm-hmm okay yeah, yeah, and in my mind I knew I had no idea what the hell he was talking about. And at a certain point he looked at me and he said, you have seen differential forms before, right? And I went, um, yes, mm-hmm. And he said, oh, well when did you learn those? Because those aren't usually taught in the curriculum. And I uh, said, I've never actually learned those. I just lied to you. <laughs> and uh, fortunately, he continued to be my advisor. Um, and we did a lot of uh, good work together. Uh, but ever after that, I think he was very realistic in his expectations uh, for me. But the, uh, the, the lesson that I learned from it is it, you should just drop the habit of just nodding in agreement. And the moment someone says something you don't understand, the moment someone takes a discussion beyond your comfort zone or your you know, level of knowledge, stop them, slow them down, say, hey, wait a minute, no, I don't know anything about differential forms, what are they? Um, and it's interesting because I've turned this around in my own work with students now. And one of my favorite moments is when I'm explaining something, especially to a small group, this usually happens in, in a small group in my office, and I'm explaining something, and I'll get to a certain point and I'll look at the students and I'll say, um, so does this make sense? And inevitably, there's a certain kind of nod, and I've come to recognize it, and I'm pretty sure it's the exact same nod that I was giving my advisor, and it's just kind of a, it's not an aggressive, it's not a verbal, it's just a, and then I pause and I look at the students and I say, do you really get it? And almost every single time the students say, no, no, not actually. Can you explain that a little bit better? And those are actually some of my favorite moments because I feel like I really connect with where the students are and I get to engage them at exactly their level. So it's really on a student to let the instructor know where they are with things and not to just let the professor feel like the student's getting everything the first time they hear it. Um, you really have to be willing to just stop nodding and start asking.